Have you ever wanted to build a beautiful home, but all those homes required advanced placing? Well, I have this hack, and this hack allows you to build homes that require advanced placing, but you don't have advanced placing. It's just a few extra steps in the building process, but I think this is a very useful hack for someone who can't build without advanced placing, who has the advanced placing game pass. So right off the start, you see these toggle collisions. I'm going to toggle the collisions to so that objects can't be collidable. So I can show you guys what I'm talking about with advanced placing. And this is what normally it will look like if you have um, if you're building on a plot that doesn't have advanced placing. So I'm going to go into garden. I'm going to grab two objects. I'm going to grab this object and that object. You can't collide those objects because there's not enough space between those objects. So I'm just going to remove that object, move this object far away. I'm going to copy this object and just bring it down to here and then boom. These are two different objects and they are now able to be collidable. Now this doesn't just work with plants, it doesn't just work like that, it works with so many different objects. So, way that we already know that most of these with pillars, which I'm going to show you guys with pillars, if I go into build and find the pillars category. So if we go into pillars and we grab ourselves a plain pillar and then another plain pillar, which these have to be like that. Now collisions are toggled off. So I am still able to, okay, I forgot that you have to put the pillars like that. So for the walls, I'm still able to build walls, okay? Just like that. that that's the hack we already know. But you can't place pillars on walls that I've already been there. But that's how we know to do it with walls already, is just take that and then take a wall and put it in between those. But now let's just say that we are building a house, okay? So I'm going to build just a small little makeshift house, okay? So let's, let's just say we're building a house, kind of like this, but we want to be able to intersect objects like fences and whatnot. I'm going to show you guys with fences, okay? So here we're going to have some fences. I won't be able to place this fence down. Okay, I won't be able to place this fence down. So I'm going to move this object away and then put the fence down. I'm going to bring the fence to right here, do control Z or undo, and then I'll be able to place the fence down. Now you can see that this fence can't go in there. Okay, Th that fence is not able to go in there. So we're going to do that same thing. We're going to do control Z, deleting the object that we can. Um, Actually, what if I just move that away? Okay, it looks like you can co collide fences. It's just with the pillars. So, you move the pillar away, and then you hit Control z before. It's before you place down the object, okay? So, basically, you take, you, you, you take the object. Oh, you can't do the hedge like that. So, you just take the object, all right, that you want to be able to collide. And you just basically you can delete it so I'll, like we can just take this and delete and then we can do that and then you can do control z control z and then you place on the object and sell it and you'll be able to do that but what about different types of countertops okay this is where it starts getting a lot of complicated because now you're building your home full force and you want to be able to collide different objects and colliding objects is a big use for certain creators now if we go into decorate we'll go into countertops and i'm going to get the basic counter just to show you um, i'm going to use this so i can put each object like so all right i really don't like the basic counter <laughs> Let's go with the rustic counter because I think, you know what, first let's just grab ourselves a, let, let's just grab ourselves a wall, All right, All right, so if we got on counters, I'll, I'll do the basic counter again, so we're going to use the counter to do this, all right, now we aren't able to place this wall here because there's not enough space, 
So let's just remove that. Advanced placing already has this thing checked off with countertops. All right. But I really don't like that with most countertops. So let's just grab the arch counter, for example. That you would begin to have this shape. And it'll be the same thing with cabinets. Where cabinets are a big issue. Okay. So now if I were to grab something. Let's just grab this arch counter. Now I haven't really tested it out on this that much. There we go. There we go. We got it. See, it works with any object. Basically just take that object that you want to collide. And then boom, you're able to have advanced placing kitchens without even owning the advanced placing game pass. Because you can see that right here, these are two different countertops and they are intersecting each other. This is a countertop. These two are intersecting each other. They're going on a wall. But you but you don't own the advanced placing game pass because collisions are checked off like you can't do that now there is some limitations to the advanced placing game pass with collisions um the, the way that you see it um if we were to do let, let's just say let me just take all these objects right here you want let, let's just do a full wall painting because that's how so, some people that's how some people do their advanced backsplashes you can you, you can do that you can do that too because normally you won't be able to do that but with with my hack, you would just have to be able you would just have to move all your countertops every single time that you want to place down another painting. And obviously that proves to be a hassle. And obviously you won't be able to scale these objects. You won't be you won't be able to scale these objects because you don't own the advanced placing game pass. You would have to keep Placing each of these objects down in order to create your custom backsplashes. All right. So now we, we, we've covered basically everything you can do. And you'll basically be with every single object. All right. So now we have kitchens and we have, we have pillars, we have fences, we have um, garden materials. Basically, this works on any object you own. Like any object that you can place down that you see in a video for advanced placing where you have to have that required you can do that same thing now with windows with without the collisions it, it works all the same what windows will work all the same so if you build and you go into windows let's do let's do this factory window so i'm going to place on a factory window all right now i just conjoined these factory windows and the collisions are all off And that does not look symmetrical, but I don't really care because I'm not building a house. But, okay, that looks a little bit better. So these factory windows right here, they, these are conjoined without the collisions turned on. So, you can already do this with advanced placing. You can even put these in a little bit more, just so, so, just so it can look like that. Now, those are already the limitations with windows and doors and all that. So you don't have to worry about advanced placing to do any of that. Advanced placing would be to collide different objects together. And this hack proves that you can do that without advanced placing. Now, I haven't really tested this whole thing out. Um, this is a way to trick Bloxburg to make advanced placing work. Now, there's no way to trick Bloxburg to use your um, scale tool on on objects. You would have to buy advanced placing for that. I wish that there was a way to trick Bloxburg for that. But there, but there sadly is not. So, I want to thank everyone so much for watching this video. And if this video has helped you out, leave a, leave a like. Share this video with your friends who don't have advanced placing, who want to build homes like other YouTubers who have advanced placing homes. And now, advanced placing homes, um, non-advanced placing homes, I should say, are really good homes. But this is a way to build a house without advanced placing. 
but there are some limitations. You can only collide objects. You can't use the transform tool. Um, if you guys want to see more videos like this, um, subscribe and leave a like um, and share the video around. I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.